Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to use the step tracking feature on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical version. It doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct watch you have, the step tracking feature is going to be the same on all of them. I also like to mention that I'm using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So this is the feature. The step tracking is actually what brought me to the Garmin Instinct watch. For years I was a Fitbit user. My Fitbit died one day and I started tracking, uh, started looking for a new activity tracker. I like the Garmin Instinct because not only does it track your activities, but it also has some of the rugged outdoor features that uh, I was used to getting from things like my Casio G-Shock or my Casio Pro Trek, the altimeter, compass, stuff like that. So it's kind of a, a good package of all of those features. And today I'm going to be talking to you about step tracking. So first and foremost, if you want to track steps using your Garmin Instinct, you have to make sure you've got activity tracking turned on. Now I've done a video in the past that walks you through that. I'm not going to go through it again. I've already got it turned on. If you don't have it turned on, it won't track your steps, floors climbed, uh, intensity minutes, uh, various things. So you want to make sure you have that turned on. As with all the features on the Garmin Instinct watch, the most basic way to get the element that you're looking for is to add it as a data element on your watch face. And I'm going to do that now. Now some of these things I'm going through really quick. I assume you know how to customize your watch face. I assume you know how to add a widget. If you don't, again, I've done videos in the past that are more basic to walk you through how to do that stuff. But I'm going to go pretty quick here. We're going to press and hold the menu button. We're going to press GPS to select watch face. We're going to press GPS again to select that one. And then we're going to press GPS again to customize it. You'll notice that the data element starts blinking. So I'm going to go ahead and cycle through and add the step tracking as a data element. We're looking for an icon that has two feet on it and that's your step tracking. I currently have 1,545 steps. I want to add that as a data element to my watch face, so I'm going to press GPS. And I'm going to press GPS a couple more times to save my watch face. Now we've successfully added our steps to our watch face. As I walk throughout the day, I'll see my steps increase. That's the most basic way to see the steps on your Garmin Instinct. As with other things, if you want to see more details, we can also add the step widget and that's going to give us a little bit more detail. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to press and hold the menu button again. This time I'm going to arrow down to settings, press GPS to select settings. I'm going to arrow down to widgets, press GPS to select widgets. I'll see all of the widgets I currently have installed. If I go to the very bottom, I can do add widgets. And then I'm going to arrow through until I see the same two feet icon that we saw earlier. For me, it looks like it's at the bottom of my list. Steps, I'm going to press GPS to select it. Now we've successfully added the step widget. Let's go ahead and go back to our main screen. As always, if you press the up button, it'll take you to your most recently added widget. So now we're looking at the step widget. Same icon, same information, 1,545 is my current steps, but we can also see what my daily goal is for today. I'm supposed to get 6,850 steps, and then we can see this progress bar that's going around to show me how close I am to hitting my goal. I can also press the GPS button to see some more detail regarding my steps. Same thing, my daily steps, my daily goal, but I can look for the last seven days and see how many steps I've gotten for the last seven days. So you can see today I'm pretty low, yesterday I was pretty low, Wednesday I had a pretty decent day. I can also click the down button to see the distance that I've traveled. So for today, I've traveled 0.8 miles. And then again, I can see it for the last seven days. So that's a quick look at how to see it on your uh, step widget. Once we're done, we just press the back button to go to the main screen. So one of the silliest things that I can't understand with the Garmin Instinct watch is uh, your steps will always be in the step activity tracking screens that we just looked at. If you go do an activity, so for example, let's say I was gonna go do a walking activity or a hiking activity, your activities don't actually track your steps. They'll track your distance, they'll track your cadence, they'll track uh, speed, stuff like that. But if you ever wanna see your steps, you always have to go back to the main screen to look at the data element or go to the widget to look at your steps. And I'm not real sure why that is, it's February, 2021, maybe they'll put out an update to change that, but currently you can't see steps when you do activities, even if it's the walking activity. The other thing I'm going to show you, I'll show you in two different places. We've successfully looked at our steps on the Garmin Instinct watch. 
you can get a little bit more detail if you look at the information on the uh, Garmin Connect widget, I'm sorry, the Garmin Connect app on your phone, or if you go to the Garmin Connect website, and maybe I can show you that real quick as well. Okay, so as I mentioned before, you can get a lot more information if you go into the Garmin Connect app or website. I'm gonna go into the Garmin Connect app first and show you that. So the first thing that should happen when you go into your Garmin Connect app is it should sync to your watch and start pulling in your information. Now, if you look under My Day, you won't see any step information on my screen. You wanna make sure that you've got steps viewable in your My Day. I'm gonna scroll to the very bottom. I'm gonna click on Edit My Day. And you'll notice under Hidden Cards, I have steps. If I click the plus to add it, now I should be able to see it under My Day. You'll also notice I have yesterday's statistics on, the last seven days statistics on. That's a personal preference as, whether, as to whether or not you wanna turn that on or off. You can also click the three lines on the right to move steps wherever you want to in your display for My Day. Once you've got it the way you want, just click on Save. And now if we go back to the top, we'll see my steps at the top of my day because that's the way I set it. So currently I've got 2,363 steps today. I can also look and see that yesterday I had 5,348. And then because I've got it displayed, I can see my last seven days daily average. On any one of those tabs, I can click on steps and I can see some more analytics for the given uh, category. So for today, I'm at 34% of my daily goal. I can see the distance and calories that I've burned, and I can see a timeline of when have I gotten those steps throughout the day. At the top, I can also click on the last seven days and see some similar analytics. I can also scroll down and click on any of the previous seven days to get information for that given day. Up at the top again, I can also click on the last four weeks and I can even click on the last year. So that's a quick look at the analytics that you can see in the Garmin Connect app. So what I was mentioning earlier is the thing that I thought was silly is that Garmin doesn't let you track your steps while you're in a walking activity. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna go to one of my previous walking activities. Let me see if I can find, let me find a good one. Jeez, uh, I don't know. Any of these will work. March 3rd, when you do a walking activity, it'll track all kinds of things. So I can see the time for my walk, the distance that I walk, the number of calories that I burned, my pace, my elevation. Because I had the GPS on, I can see a map. I can click on that map and I can see when I was going slower, when I was going faster. You can see all kinds of information for your walking activity, but the one thing you can't see is how many steps you had during that activity. The only way that steps are, uh, steps are tracked is under the step, um, your daily fitness, but it's not per activity. And that's the thing I didn't understand why Garmin has it set up that way. So just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. You can do a walking activity, you can track all kinds of stuff, but you're not going to see how many steps you got in that activity unless you do some math for that given day. Like you look at your step count, start your activity, then when you get done, look at your step count and do some math to figure out, oh, how many steps did I get during that activity? But you won't see it in your activity log. The other thing I thought might be beneficial to show you, especially if you're coming from Fitbit, I know a lot of people like looking at their steps versus their contact steps. And Garmin gives you that ability just like Fitbit. I think Fitbit kind of lays it out in a nicer format, but if you click on challenges at the bottom of your Garmin Connect app, and then at the top, you'll notice that it's under my challenges, but there's also a connections tab if I click on connections, I can see my steps for this week versus my connection step. So my connection has 34,962. I'm underneath them at 27,355. Similar to what Fitbit does, that's how you can see your steps versus your connections for the last seven days. So I hope that gives you an idea of how it looks in the Garmin Connect app. Now I'm gonna go to the Garmin Connect website just so you can see what it looks like if you use the Garmin Connect website. I'm going to show you how to quickly look at your steps using the Garmin Connect website. We're going to go to connect.garmin.com. And once you get logged in, now yours might look a little bit different than mine because it puts you in at your dashboard. And you can adjust the dashboard accordingly by clicking on any of the gear icons. So for example, if I don't want to see my calories, I can click on this gear and I can remove it. And I can add something totally different like a 
we'll put four as crime. So everybody's dashboard can look different. There's not a standard one that Garmin makes you use, which is kind of a cool feature. As far as looking at steps, though, if you click under activities, there's a section for steps. If you click on that, you'll see a daily summary of your steps, pretty similar to what we just saw on the Garmin Connect app on our phone. I'm currently at 2,376 steps. My distance is 1.2 miles. My seven-day average, my daily goal. And then I can look down here and see my progression of steps throughout the day. You'll notice that there's no steps during my sleep time. That's an option that you can set on your Garmin and watch. I've done a video on that in the past. Uh, if you have a sleep time selected, you can turn off activity tracking during your sleep to preserve battery life. The other way you can look at your steps to see more information is if you click on dashboards and click on activity tracking. And there's some different reports in here that you can use to show your steps. You'll notice down here I've got one that shows my daily steps in a list form. And I can click on any one of these hyperlinks to see more information for that given day. The other thing, as I was mentioning earlier, you can change the view. So if I don't want to see a list, I can change it and do a detailed summary, for example. And it's a little bit more of a detailed view. Up here, there's also some reports for steps. I can look at my last seven days. I can look at my last four weeks the last six months in the last year. What I like about the Garmin Connect website versus the app is whatever you save as far as your dashboard settings, the next time you go in there, it'll automatically remember those settings. So you don't have to keep adjusting and flipping around. I find it to have a lot more detail uh, and a lot more user-friendly than the app. But again, that's a personal preference. I know a lot of people these days tend to prefer to do things on their phone. You'll also see the connection leaderboard. Like we talked about earlier, if you're wanting to track your steps versus your friend's steps, uh, you can see that down here on the leaderboard. You can also switch and look at other activities like cycling, running, uh, swimming versus yourself and your connection. So I hope that gives you a glimpse of how you can look at your steps, how the tracking steps works. Uh, we've looked at it on the Garmin Connect website, we've looked at it in the app, and we looked at it on our Instinct Watch. As always, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out.